Hi again, this is the Cool Geek, and in today's video, we're going to cover how to use Network Days function and Workday function. Now, as you can notice, today's function has changed to 9th May 2016 as opposed to 8th May 2016 when we started this series. So, let us begin with Network Days. Network Days returns the whole number of working days between start date and end date, and uh, the working days exclude weekends and any dates uh, identified as holidays. I've listed down uh, the certain number of holidays here, which will be excluded when we are uh, getting you the number of days between two dates so let's begin that i have a start date and end date already uh, with me so network days start date comma end date comma the holidays are going to be uh, maybe all these cells that are there fix them so that it doesn't change enter now as you can see i have 18 working days between 1st april to 30th april which is the case um you see first 12 and 21st are marked as holidays and I have 21 days in April and I have 21 days in April. It also excludes Sunday and Saturday. So which gives me 21 minus 3 as 18. So that's what I'm getting here. I can also include maybe let's say 22nd April 2016 and it will give me one more day less in the network day. So that's how network date is used in Excel. Please use it whenever you want to calculate the number of working days between two dates. What about workday function? Now workday function is returns a number that represents a day that is identified number of working days before or after a date, the starting date. Obviously from the starting date, we can get the number of days before or after that particular start date. So let us begin with workdays is equal to workday. Now let's say start date is 1st April. 2016 and let's say I conduct a training from 1st April to maybe seven days after 1st April so including 1st of April I want seven days right so started is 1st April I want seven days of training and let's say what are the holidays that we have identified right so let me fix that and close it now it'll give me a date um, obviously not formatted it is a serial number Control shift 3 to get it back into that format it is giving me a date 13th April. Now let's just analyze what is happening here. Be mindful that we have marked 1st April as a holiday and uh, even 12th April as a holiday. So that is taken into consideration before you get the last date of your training after 7 days from 1st April. So I have 1st April starting of the training. Obviously it's marked as holiday. So the first working day will be fourth four till eight i have five working days now i need two more working days for this example so 11th uh, saturday sundays are excluded 11th is the next working day the seventh day is 12th so 12th basically is a seventh day of the training but it is a holiday so 13th will be the next working day so that's how this particular function gets you a date of when your training is going to complete and that is uh, 13th april 2016 so to reiterate i am just getting a date uh, excluding the working days and holidays my training will end with thank you for watching